Hi guys, welcome back to Algo Test. In this video, we're going to be demonstrating a very interesting scalping strategy which is built by the famous YouTuber Mr. Nero Joshi. So we've taken his strategy, quantified it and showed you how you can automate this entire strategy, meaning you don't have to sit and manually find the entry and exit conditions. We've done all that for you. All you have to do is follow the steps in this video. Let's start off by learning what the strategy is first and then we'll move on to the trading view charts and finally how to automate the said strategy. All right guys, let's understand what the strategy is about in the first place. So we're gonna be needing just two indicators for the strategy. The first is we're gonna need EMA, which is exponential moving average. We're gonna need two of these. I'll explain in a minute. And then we'll need the stochastic indicator. That's it. So with the EMA, we want two different EMAs. So the first one will be an EMA 100. Second one will be the EMA 50. So the EMA 100 will be in red, right? And this is the slow moving EMA, okay? Because it's taking the last 100 candles in consideration. And EMA 50 will be in green, okay? This is the color of the actual line you'll see on the chart. This is the fast moving EMA, right? So I'll just write this here, fast, and in this case, slow, right? So these are the first two indicators we need. Next thing is the stochastic indicator. Now the stochastic indicator is going to be better understood once you visually see it, but for the purposes of explaining the strategy, I'll show you in the next minutes what it actually looks like and what we're gonna use for the entry conditions. Okay, now let's understand the entry conditions for a long trade, right? A long trade could be buying a call or it could be selling a put, whichever one you may so choose. But we need two things to be true here. Firstly, let's talk about the EMA. So if these are my candles, right? Let's not worry about the color of the candles right now. Just any random set of candles, right? If these are what my candles of the underlying look like, let's say my slow moving EMA is somewhere here, which is the 100 EMA. And my fast moving EMA is above the slow moving EMA. So the 50 EMA is above the 100 EMA, which is the slow moving EMA. So when this first condition has been satisfied, we will only take long trades, right? So long trades only, okay? So this is the first condition. Now when this is the case, now we look at our stochastic indicator. Now the stoch stochastic indicator has two different lines, K and D. We're not gonna worry about K and D much. Let's just take the indicator as it is. There's gonna be an orange line and a blue line, right? So whenever the orange line so let's say it looks something like this. For a long trade, what we want is, let's say the orange line looks like this, right? Whenever the orange line is below 20, whenever the value of the two lines is below 20 and the blue line crosses above the orange line, then a long condition is initiated. So a long trade will be initiated. So we want two things to be true. We want the green or the 50 EMA to be above the 100 EMA, condition number one. Condition number two, we want this blue line to cross above the orange line. So we want this blue line to be above the orange line. And over here, this condition is made true. Again, remember, it has to be below the 20 section of the stochastic indicator. So in this case, we will take a long entry, right? So you can either buy, call, sell, put. Either of the two work, right? So now our stop losses will be as follows. Let's say this is the candle where we took the trade and the candle before this looked like this. The stop loss will be the low of this previous candle. This will be your stop loss. Okay, so that's condition number one. Now for condition number two, we want when the blue line over here, when the blue line crosses below the orange line, so that will look like this, blue line here and orange line here. This is what the orange line will look like and the blue line crosses below. That is a stop loss condition as well. So either it will be the low of the previous candle, right? So this will be the 
entry candle this will be the previous candle the exit condition will be on the basis of the, the low of this or it will be on the basis of your blue line actually crossing below the orange line in the stochastic indicator all right so now for the short signal it's going to be the exact opposite of the long signal right so first and foremost we want the red ema to be above the green ema right so whenever the red ema is above the green ema which is the 100 ema is moving above the 50 ema here we will take short only meaning we'll either sell a call or we'll buy a put right so there's that now for the second condition whenever the blue line and the orange line are above this 80 value this 80 value over here in the stochastic indicator let's say it's somewhere like this orange line is somewhere here right so whenever this blue crosses below the orange line then we will initiate our trade so over here we will initiate short trade right at this point so whenever these condition number one and condition number two is satisfied we will take a short entry the stop loss first condition will be the high of the previous candle from the entry candle that candles high so let's illustrate that over here let's say this is the entry candle and this is the previous candle so this will be the stop loss and the second stop loss and the second stop loss is when the blue line actually crosses above the orange line again so if this is the blue line the orange line is somewhere here the blue line crosses above now one thing to note over here we, talk, we talked about two stop losses for either the long or the short conditions, right? So it will either be when the high or the low is breached. So the low in the case of a long condition and the high in the case of a short trade. There is one thing also to note. The stochastic stop loss is on the basis of a certain range. So the stochastic has to be in a certain range when it crosses up or it crosses below. So when the blue line crosses below the orange line, a long trade will hit its stop loss. But this is when the stochastic is in a particular range and the range for the long condition is 70 to 85 right so if this is my stochastic 70 to 85 this is the stop loss range similarly for my short condition whenever the blue line crosses above the orange line the stop loss is hit however the blue line and the orange line have to be in the range of 15 to 25 right as simple as that now if you're having a confusion visualizing this at the moment don't worry that's totally fine we're going to move on to the charts now and show you how this looks like on the charts and that will make it a lot easier for you to understand all right guys now that you've understood the strategy let's actually see the strategy on trading view so we're not going to just add indicators and have a look at you know these indicators separately Instead, there's going to be a link in the description below that takes you to a certain code. So this is that link. It'll take you to this file. We're going to copy all this and then head to trading view again. I'm currently on the nifty chart and, and now go to the bottom part of the page where it says pine editor. Click on that, paste this code over here and click on add to chart. Okay. Once you've done that, minimize this. And now you can see there's an indicator out of the strategy built with the buy and sell conditions as well as the exit conditions for each buy and sell trade. So you can see that there's two lines over here. Let me just make them a little thicker so it's easier for you to see. Okay, as discussed, the red line is the 100 EMA or the slow moving EMA and the green line is the fast moving EMA which is the 50 EMA, right? Along with that, the stochastic Indicator is not visible here, but I will add it just so you can see. Okay, this is what this is what the stochastic indicator looks like. So let's just discuss one buy signal. Let's say over here. Okay, I'm going to zoom in. So, like we said earlier, entry condition number one is the fast moving EMA or the green EMA has to be above the red EMA, which is the slow moving EMA, right? The 50 EMA is above the 100 EMA over here, as you can see. So that is condition number one. Now condition number two, we said 
that the stochastic has to be below the 20 range, right? Anywhere below the 20 range. And when the blue line, which you can see over here, the blue line, once it goes above the orange line, then you will place a long trade. And that was exactly met by this candle. And that's why you can see there's a buy condition indicated over here. And the buy exit happened when you can see that the stochastic, the blue stochastic came below the orange line, right? When the blue line went below the orange line, that's when the exit condition was satisfied. Therefore, the trade was exited around, you can say if you entered the trade over here and you exited roughly here, around 15 points were captured here, which is pretty much as it should be, right? That's how you would do it, which is pretty much how it should be because scalping has quick entries and quick exits, right? So that is what it looks like. Now, we've understood what this strategy looks like. We've understood how it appears on the chart. Let's understand how to automate it. So I'm just gonna close this stochastic for now and we're gonna head to Algotest. So I'm currently on the Algotest landing page and I'm gonna click on go to dashboard. In the nav bar, you'll see a section that says signals. We're gonna click on that tab. Okay, now we're, we're gonna click on create your first signal, trading view indicators, forward test. If you wanna see the live version of this strategy and where we traded live in the market, join us for our live next week. But for now, we're gonna just show you forward test. Click on create strategy. And let's say I wanna do this on the Nifty index for now. Entry time is 9.20, exit time is 3.15. I want to, let's say, buy option. So I'm gonna buy weekly a call option, right? Just click on add leg. All right. Now click on save and continue. I'm gonna name this as NJ scalping long signal. Click on done. Now name the alert NJ long entry signal. Click on save. Now in this step, we have to copy a JSON block and then head back to trading view. So I'm going to click on copy, then go to trading view, right click, and then you'll have a section that says add alert. Click on that, change the condition from nifty to Nira Joshi scalping, which is the indicator that you've uploaded to your chart via the pine strip code that we've provided and select buy. Okay. Once per bar. And in the message section, we're gonna paste what we just copied, right? We copied this JSON block and we're gonna paste that here, right? Now, head back to Algotest, click on I have pasted, copy the webhook URL, head back to trading view. Under the notifications tab, where it says webhook URL, erase this and paste what you just copied. So paste this webhook URL and click on create. Okay, now that is the entry signal done. Now we also have the stop loss condition as well, right? For the entry signal, let's add that. So to do that, we're gonna click on add exit alert, okay? Name this as NJ long signal exit, save, copy the JSON block, head back to trading view, right click, click on add alert, select from nifty to our custom indicator. And this time we will not select buy, we will select buy exit because this is the stop loss condition, right? Okay, once again, select once per bar in the message section, paste this JSON block. Okay, now back to algo test, click on I have pasted, copy this webhook URL, head to trading view, under the notifications tab where it says webhook URL, just paste this webhook URL and click on create. Finally, click on start listening. So in just a few clicks, We've actually set up the long signal for this strategy. Now let's set up the short signal where we will buy the put, right? Let's click on new signal over here. Trading view indicators, it's the exact same process, except we're gonna change it from buying a call to selling a put. Okay, create strategy. Once again, nifty, 920, exit time 315, options weekly, buy, and we're buying a put this time. Add leg, save and continue. Name this as NJ scalping short. NJ scalping short signal. Okay. And the custom name, you can name this as NJ short entry signal. You can name it whatever you want, but this is what I'm naming it. Click on save and the process repeats. 
copy the JSON block, head to trading view, right click, add alert, change to our indicator. And this time, this is the sell condition, right? So the short signal, click on sell once per bar, get rid of this and paste the JSON block here. Back to algo test, click on I have pasted, copy the webhook URL, head to trading view. In the notifications tab under webhook URL, get rid of this and paste the new webhook URL that you just copied. Click on create. Okay. Now that is a short signal entry condition satisfied, but we also have to put in the stop loss. So click on add exit alert. Name this as NJ short signal exit. Save and finally copy JSON block. Right click, add alert change to Nero Joshi scalping indicator and change this time from sell to sell exit because this is the stop loss for it, remember? Once per bar, paste the JSON block here. Back to algo test, click on I have pasted. Now copy the webhook URL. Head to trading view under the notifications tab where it says webhook URL. Replace this with what you just copied. Click on create and click on start listening. So this took about three or four minutes, but when you do it on your own, it's going to take you no more than like two minutes or so. We successfully made the long signal and the short signal automated both along with their respective stop losses. Now, before you go and try this awesome strategy on your own, please note, this is only a demonstration, absolutely not a strategy recommendation. We urge you to try this on your own and also change the parameters. But how do you change the parameters? Well, Let's go to trading view and where this indicator is actually populated, we're going to click on this settings button and you can see all of these things are changeable, right? So the inputs can be changed. You can change the length of the fast moving EMA or the slow moving EMA. Maybe I want to make my fast moving EMA 20 and I want to make my slow moving EMA, let's say 70. I can do that. That changes this, right? Changes the, these two lines. Right, for now, I'm going to put them back to their default settings. One really cool thing that you should try over here is we spoke about the stop losses having two conditions. One being the high or the low of the previous candle of the entry candle. So let's say if you're a long signal, your stop loss would be the low of the previous candle. And if you're trading the short signal, then you can even potentially have, then your stop loss becomes the high of the previous candle. If you want to remove this condition and only have your stop loss on the basis of the stochastic indicator, you can do that. To do that, you can just check this button over here that says remove, remove previous high low stop loss. And of course, that will change a lot of things. Along with that, you can change the colors of these charts if you like. You can change the color of all these indicators if you like. You can do a lot of things. So the whole point is we're giving you a strategy template. We want you to play around with this template and see what works best for you and then make your own version of this scalping strategy. So thanks for watching this video guys. We hope you enjoyed it and we hope you found this strategy useful. We're going to be coming up with more and more strategies in the coming weeks. But if you have a specific recommendation, please let us know in the comments below. Check out all the links in the description to get amazing discounts and amazing offers so you can actually get the best deals when using Algotest. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.